Well, I've loved nature ever since I was a little kid. I spent hours upon hours catching frogs, catching snakes, fishing, feeding chipmunks. Never did I once think I'd end up working in the Arctic. The effects of climate change and Arctic change are much more obvious than they are in the South. I saw Arctic foxes, saw polar bears, and just basically was just captivated by the environment. Climate change is having a profound effect on many of these species. I remember my first experience working with Inuit communities and having people tell me that not only are their whales getting smaller, but also that they were experiencing temperatures that they had never had in the past. Can you imagine how much luggage I need to take up? About two months of clothes. I tag birds, so I've got my tagging gear. So I have all my equipment, but I also have about two months worth of clothing, as well as climbing gear and mosquito repellent, everything for the, basically, the conditions of the Arctic as well. For me, it's very humbling to be a role model um, in science. I never, I never anticipated being a role model. And I've always, you know, admired, you know, the women that came before me who helped to break down barriers for other women in science. Just get involved, figure out what aspect of nature you like. Like maybe you like entomology and insects, maybe you like birds. Just enjoy um, nature and the outdoors. Just go for it. I think you just have to just, you know, Pursue your dreams, do what you think you'll love, uh, and don't let anything hold you back.